Good afternoon, this is James Fifelski. I am coming to you from Impact Lawyer and I want to talk to you today about success, about happiness, and about true fulfillment. Everybody in this world wants to be successful on some level, wants to be well known for something, wants to have the esteem of other people, wants to have money so they don't have to worry about providing for material goods. But what really is success in your life? When you think about success and what success would look like for you, what does that look like? Happiness, very similar. Most people want to be happy in life. They want to be happy with themselves. They want to be happy with their friends. They want to be happy at work. They want to be happy in their marriage. They want to be happy in their family life. But what truly is happiness. What does that look like for you? I'm sure it would look different for one person than another. Lastly, what is true fulfillment as a human being? For you, for me, for anyone. What is true fulfillment? Is it possible? Is it something that we can achieve in this lifetime? These are a few key areas in life that really form sort of a bedrock of principles that can motivate us to have the life that we want, to have a life that's worth living. So I want to just take a few minutes to talk about success, happiness, and personal fulfillment, which I think really are very similar, but also three distinct areas of life. By asking the question, what is it that would make me feel successful? I first of all have to start being conscious of what I want in life. By breaking things down and asking the simple question, what is it that I find successful? How would I achieve success in my life? What do I think I have to do to become successful? A lot of different questions that really cause us to break down the bigger ideas into smaller pieces that we can start to implement in our lives that we can start to understand more fully so that we can start to make some movement in life. I think one of the biggest challenges for most professionals, people that worked hard like you as an attorney to get through college, to get through law school, and to land that first job, is we think by going through these stepping stones in life, we will automatically see the results that we're hoping for. So in other words, if I just get my college degree, I can get into law school. Yes, that's a big part of it. If I just get my law school degree, I will get a good job as a lawyer. Although we think that's true, so many people have had a very different experience. They get their law degree and what? They can't get a job. They apply to dozens if not hundreds of law firms or government agencies only to be told there are no jobs available. So the, 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 the idea that if we just hit certain stepping stones in life, we will automatically achieve success or what we believe success should look like in our lives is very false. And it's something we need to really be aware of, conscious of, in order to throw it away. But when we then take the next step, and understand within ourselves, what is it that I think about when I think of success in my own personal life, my professional life? What would that look like? And then we can start to understand whether our desires are in line with what we actually perceive to be a successful life. And if they're not, we can start to question and better understand our own desires so that we can begin to match up our vision of success with the desires of what we want our life to look like. Because sometimes the day-to-day -day activities we do may not match with our ultimate goal that we think is success. Very similar when you think about personal happiness. What is it that makes a person tick, that makes that person want to get up in the morning? Is it having things to do? Is it feeling important? feeling esteemed by other people? Or is it something very different? A quiet walk along the seashore. When you begin to simply be more conscious 
of your own desires. Filter out all the other things in the world, the things that come in at us through marketing or advertising or other people and their opinions about what we should like or what we should do or what we should become, and go inside. Ask yourself some of these questions. Then you can start to be more conscious of what makes you tick as a person. At the end of the day, at the end of your lifetime, at the end of my lifetime, we're not going to be able to take any of the material things that we accumulated with us. We are going to look at ourselves and ask ourselves, am I the person I wanted to become after 70, 80, 90 years in this world? Am I the person I wanted to see live this life? And if the answer is yes, great. If the answer is no, there's a question mark there. Why didn't I become that person? What did I focus on that took away from my ability to become that person to be truly happy?